batteries. They're a multi-billion dollar industry. But the lithium-ion battery, so useful in our laptops and phones, in electric vehicles and space technology, essential in fact, comes with a warning too. There's a danger that they could overheat. And we've seen cases where they burst into flames. Enter Cooler Technology. They've developed a wrap for these batteries which combats that risk. In the chat room, Michael Moe, the CEO, who's going to see his protective devices fly all the way into space. This is the core material. It's a, it's a vertically aligned carbon fiber. Uh, we make it here in, uh, in the U.S. We make it down in San Diego. Right. Uh, that's where our company is based out of. Um, and this is the core material. And then we make uh, uh, these uh, thermal runaway shield products uh, that, that, you know, that we call it. And uh, put into, uh, uh, we work with the largest uh, uh, car companies in the world uh, for the next generation, uh, you know, the EV vehicles. Can I touch it? Yes, please, yeah. Ooh, it feels like, um, it feels like a fur coat. It's like a velvet. <laughs> velvet. It's a velvet, yes. Yeah. It's a velvet, yes. The heat is contained. Um, it's a carbon fiber material. Uh, we have some enclosures around that with some liquid. So when the, when the um, uh, battery catch fire, um, then the, uh, the liquid start evaporating. So it's right. a phase change. Uh, so, it's, so that takes away all the energy of a single burning cell. Says when you think of the sheer numbers of lithium ion batteries in use today, the scalability of his business is huge, and he's taking steps to ensure he stays ahead of his rivals, like collaborating with NASA, for instance. Listen in. Every time you sit down, you have your laptop, tablet, and phone at the same time, and something else. Um, so that translates to about 2.3 billion lithium ion battery devices. Wow on um, passenger planes alone just in the U.S. Every day. E every, yeah, every year. And that does not include cargo, uh, Amazon, the biggest e-commerce companies in the world shipping their batteries. All the battery has to go back. Your iPhone gets, re you know, gets uh, sent back and so forth. So the market is enormous. Um, uh, the world produces something like 7 billion lithium-ion batteries every year. 7 billion. So that's the population of of the entire planet. And that's growing at a pretty pretty high high rate as well. So what about competition here? Um, everybody is chasing after the holy grail, which is the battery safety. Yes. Um, we believe that we have the most efficient material just because um, what we built here is going to be launched on the International Space Station on, uh, on Saturday. So we're part of the NG12 program uh, on it. Uh, we provide a containment solution to keep laptop batteries safe on the International Space Station. So uh, obviously that's the most expensive real estate in the, yes. uh, in the world, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the space. So they want to keep that uh, containment as compact as possible. Um, and in case if a battery were to go to thermal runaway, have fire, nothing comes out of the bag. Because the last thing you can afford on the International Space Station is fire, the cat, you know, catalyst. So definitely want to contain that, contain the fire, contain the smoke, contain the, uh, the explosion. So we're working with NASA and a company called Lidos, which is a good partner of ours, uh, we, uh, since the beginning of this year. And uh, now the, the solution is totally qualified. It's part of the program, uh, the mission to be on the International Space Station, to be launched on this Saturday, actually. It's incredibly light. It also costs right now less than 10% of the lithium battery, which is clearly a huge expense in the technology that we're talking about here. He says the job now is to bring that cost down further. The company itself, Cooler, not yet profitable. They're investing a lot of money, clearly, in the technology. They went public by direct listing last year, and he's upbeat about investor potential here and positive about combating things like piracy and protecting crucial intellectual property rights. Listen in. We believe that the big growth phase for us is ahead of us. So now we're on the public platform. Uh, average investor can participate. So hopefully we can, uh, everybody can enjoy the growth with us. Final question, and it goes to the U.S.-China trade deal situation and the difficulties of agreeing patent protections, technology protections for intellectual property like your own. Yes. How important is it as an entrepreneur that's developing something so unique to have those protections? Yeah, I think protection is important, you know, in every part of the world, yes. right? So. 
To just, we've been very focused on the U.S. market. Uh, uh, year, uh, you know, so far, uh, our, I think 100% of our customer base has been U.S. Yes. European customers, um, because you know uh, the scale and the cost point is is at that point right mm. now. Um, but I think that you go into these emerging markets, uh, patent protection is very very important. It's also very important to work with the right partner for that local market because yes. I think every local market, the pricing is different. The economics is different, the distribution is different, and the user behavior is different. There's a huge electric vehicle opportunity in China. Yes. Are you talking to Chinese companies too? Uh, yes, we're working with partners to, for that distribution. I believe that you have to find the right partner for that. Yes. Uh, going there alone is very challenging. It's a huge market, uh, and the design time is long, right? Um, mm. So you got to work with the right, right partner. Uh, we're in discussion with the right partner to get into the right business model to support them. Do you uh, feel safe? Taking your technology to China, uh, I think it's just like just like every, every just like everything else, you know. Um, build the right protection, work with the right people, make the economics work. Right. right? The, the key is to make the economics work. Uh, I think you know, even back in the day when you have uh, uh, music sharing and so forth, mm -hmm. and then so Apple's of the world, Spotify of the world, made it uh, more expensive to steal the music than just to buy a subscription. So if you can create a business model, this is what I believe in. You have to create a business model where it's going to be m more costly for people to steal from you than to partner with you. It, and that would become a much longer sustainable business model over time because uh, everything's become a service model now. Everything is IP, service, recurring revenue. Even as a hardware company, we create the IP, but it's very important to develop an ecosystem so that you can license to somebody, you can partner with somebody to lower the cost for the entire market, increase the demand, and then build economics around your system. Do you have that model yet? Uh, we have been communicating to our shareholders that that's the direction that we're going. Yeah, it's smart. Yes, It's you. just how you make it happen. Yes, yeah, so we hope that we will be announcing something soon into that market. Uh, it's a lot of things in the works right now, but uh, <laughs> we, we, we hope we can announce something uh, publicly in the near future so that we can... Uh, yeah. Come back and talk to us when you do. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it.